Good morning internet. I'm not sure if you can actually see anything at all. Probably not. It's still really dark. I'll properly do the intro when it's a bit more light. It's still very early now. So, good morning internet. It is now... I actually don't really know what time it is. Too. It is now 10 past 7 in the morning. I've been riding for about an hour so I managed to get out of Bissau before the crazy traffic started so that was good and uh, yeah I'm making my way to a place called Gabu the road is it's kind of paved but there are such big potholes in the tar that most of the time it's actually better to <laughs> ride on this dirt next to the asphalt so otherwise I'm just hitting potholes all the time so when I get to Gabu I'll take out the map and show you where I'm going but I'm kind of riding inland a little bit I am taking the northern border with Guinea Conakry which is the next country so I will not be crossing the border today I'll spend one night in Gabu Ooh, the dust is so bad I can see anything. There's a truck in front of me. Taking up all this dust. Got <laughs> a truck. Besides from this super dusty road, there is just jungle and forest all around. It's a beautiful area, but unfortunately for me, all I can see is dust. There is a military convoy in front of me. exhaust in front of me. Can you believe this? I have arrived in Gabu. That actually went pretty pretty well, pretty smooth. Be a hotel here. I'm going to show you the map outside because inside it is <laughs> unbearable the fans are not working because there is no electricity here yes. turns out that the electricity from that Turkish car power ship in Bissau apparently doesn't reach all the way over here in Guinea Bissau I asked around and this town only has electricity from solar power but apparently also not all the time so anyway there hasn't been any power today here at all so I've just kind of just been outside um, I'm cleaning Alaska's air filter again which was pretty filthy after only basically two rides because I cleaned the air filter in Ziegenchor in Senegal and I've only done yeah two rides and it's already <laughs> filthy uh, everything is so super dusty and filthy anyway um, taking care of that now so I left from Bissau here and now I'm here in Gabu 
So I just followed this road today. And so that means that I'm going to cross the border, not here, but I'm gonna turn into here. So my plan is to cross over here and then ride to Cumbia. And then I wanna end up somewhere over here in Guinea. That is the plan and oh, I could have crossed the border today if I wanted to. Uh, actually, I did it all a lot faster, but I was like, I'd rather try and ride in the mornings. The only thing is that I don't know tomorrow morning what time the immigration and customs officers are going to be there because obviously I'm doing a border crossing. I don't know if they're going to be present at like 7 in the morning, but hey, let's see. Um, I have to do the customs and immigration procedures in a town called Piche. It's like the next town, which is about 40 minutes from here. So I think I'll just leave early and then hope, hopefully they're up early as well and they can stand me out and I can cross to Guinea. Right, here I go again. And now just fingers crossed that the immigration and the customs officers are going to be in the office early as well. Otherwise, I just have to sit and wait there. I have filled up on the fuel completely as well. So it should be fine for the whole day because I am riding 300 kilometers, which is far actually, because I think the roads are going to be bad. These trees smell so strongly and I don't know what they are. They have these red fruits. I don't know if you can see them. I, I've seen people collecting them. But I just have no clue what they are. Like these, what are these? Oh, it's the cashew. But they smell incredibly strong. It's just the whole way I'm smelling them. I'll just have to find the office. Oh, that's the uh, water hole. Hi. Immigration? Fulamori? Fulamori. Fulamori. Fulamori, I think. You are Mauritania? Mauritania. I, I write Mauritania. Oh. Chingeti, uh, Atar, Uadan, uh, Chichiksha. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this way. Okay. Shukran. <laughs> Found them. And next year, I am Burunduma. I am Fulamori. I use the full amount. Yeah. I didn't lose much time there at all. I had to wait for the immigration officer, but in the meantime, I just had a bit of breakfast. Oh, well, there was a lady with rice. <laughs> so I had some rice for breakfast. Yeah, carnet stamped, easy, passport stamped. So it's brilliant! So now I'm off towards the border, which is a little further down this road. And I also have to cross a river. I believe uh, the actual border is a river. Bondia. Um, 
I I go <laughs> I'm waiting for that kind of bigger ferry thing to come over but it's not coming so I'll just right to the edge and see because they also have canoes but I'm not sure if that's such a good idea like these guys will go in canoes but they have much smaller bikes than me Un peu. Inglés. Español, ¿no? Español. Portugués. Fala un poco. Fala de Portugal. ¿Se brasileiras o no? No, más eh, estaba trabajando en Brasil. Brasil. Sí. São Paulo. Río. Todo bien. Todo bien. ¿Y vos? También todo bien. ¿Vos es de aquí? Es de Guinea Bissau, sí. A Guinea Bissau. Voy a enviar ahora para vos. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Todo bien. <laughs> Que, que idioma fala? Creole? Não, fala de Fula. Fula? Eu vivo na Espanha. Eu? Eu, eu, eu. Ah, sim? Sí? Onde? Madrid. Madrid? Ah? Por quanto tempo? É muito tempo. Muito tempo. Então fala espanhol? Sim, habla espanhol. Ah, ok, ok. Espanhol é mais fácil para mim. Ah, para ti. Sim. Sí. Melhor, melhor. <laughs> <laughs> Hoje não. Not today. I really don't feel like putting in Alaska in that thing. I'm gonna wait for that one. Yeah. Bom dia! Tudo bem? Okay. Português? Francês? Francês. Ok. Uh, ça va? Não <laughs> vai Ah, sim. Combien? Combien de. Il a traversé. Aham. Attends, le monsieur vient, c'est le patron. Ah. Il monte, il vient. Ah, ok. Il a garé son motard là, il vient, on continue. Ah, ok. 4 km. Ici c'est kilomètres. Euh, non, et pour aujourd'hui, ici, Fulamori, <rire> Kichar, <rire> Kumbia, Kumbia. Telemele. Telemele, ouais. Aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui. Quand on a parcouru de Gogo. Hein? Ah, de Fulamori, <rire> Kumbia, et Kichar, yeah. Kumbia, Gawal. Telemele. Telemele. Oui, madame. Chef. Madame, ça va Ça va bien, merci. Ça va très bien. Et... Ça, ça va, là. Ça là va. Ça le voyage. Ça uh -huh. va.
<laughs> I go there? Okay. I can go? Oh, I go? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. What am I supposed to do? I don't think there's any checkpoint here. I have to do uh, immigration and customs in the first town, which is still quite far from here. It's a little bit of a no man's land, I suppose. Anyway, the crossing went well. It went well. No, that was, that was much better. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna put Alaska again in a little canoe, and they did not look that stable. So this was better. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. So now I just have to ride to the next town and uh, get my carnet stamped. Well, you know the drill. Oh, this is cool, hey? What an amazing area. Hi. Okay, I'm close to the first town. Oh, look at that mango tree. It's enormous, right? Mangoes on the ground everywhere. Ça va? Bonjour. <laughs> well, that all took a little time, but they were extremely friendly, really nice, and uh, I also changed some money. I didn't want to change all my francs that I had because that currency, CFA, it's actually a currency for 14 African countries. So Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, and then I will pass at least, I think, two more countries with that money. So I wanted to keep some of it. So then for those countries, I already have some cash on me as well, which is always nice. So in the place that I'm hoping to reach tonight, there should be a bank. So then I'll just get out some more uh, cash, but for today I'll be fine, more than fine. What a border crossing, what a place, right? Oh, without further ado, welcome to Guinea. The only thing is that uh, I am making terribly slow progress. So it is now quarter to 11 and I've done 50 kilometers. <laughs> so because of the border crossing, of course. But yeah, it means I still have 250 to go. So it is going to get very, very hot, I'm afraid. That's the only thing. But I'm going to ride straight through the afternoon heat, which is going to be a bit tough. Oh, this route is just fantastic, hey? Really, really great.
I think actually since Senegal, this must be my coolest, most fun ride so far, I think. This is just so nice to ride. There is no traffic. Every now and then there's a motorcycle or someone on a bicycle. Other than that, there is just nobody here. No dust clouds. And I'm just riding through the forest. I have reached the first town. How about that? Over 50 kilometers through the bush and some small villages. Hey, look, you can see the baobabs really are getting leaves now. How cool is that, right? Most of the ones I saw in Senegal didn't have leaves yet. It's not an easy road for a fully loaded truck. Oof. <laughs> oh, that was bad. It's not a village here, look how stunning. Bonjour. <laughs> Place for a village. The road has gotten from bad to worse. Wow. believe that <laughs> the first asphalt and I have 2.8 kilometers to go <laughs> I found a place to stay I'm going to keep this outro short because I am so exhausted it took me 12 hours to get here today and I rode through the extreme heat uh, it was really tough I really had to push myself the last like 80 kilometers or so because I was so exhausted but it was all worth it, what an adventure. Uh, I loved it, I loved it so much. And I think this is the kind of riding that I've just been craving a little bit since Mauritania. Because yeah, Senegal, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, it was all a lot more crowded. I couldn't really find places to ride that were like remote and in nature. And there was just people everywhere. And I just, yeah, today was way more kind of my thing and uh, it was amazing. It was tough but amazing. I broke a couple of things on Alaska when I arrived here. I also bent my rear brake lever, which I, I didn't catch it on camera because I wasn't filming. But uh, at some point I was riding, it was quite close from here, through a smallish town and it was a market and it was really busy. And I was going pretty slowly. But then there was a motorbike coming from the opposite side really fast and they tried to swerve around me and then they hit my bags and I was on the ground. Um, so anyway, I didn't hurt myself, but my um, rear brake lever is now bent. So I'll have to fix that. It was just so bumpy and rough today, like crazy. So yeah, in the end, I'm not surprised that <laughs> Alaska lost a few parts because it was rough. It was really rough. But yeah, all in all, I'm super happy to be here epic border crossing so i'm looking forward to what else uh, guinea conakry has to offer because i think it's gonna only get better from now so that was it for today i really hope you liked this video if you did please give a big thumbs up subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video